Hi, it's Dr. Karen, and we're gonna do some happy hoo-hoo hacks tonight. I've gotten several emails that I can answer all in one video tonight. So let's call this the happy hoo-hoo hack night. All right, the first question is from Carol, and she wants to know, the instructions say to use two to four times a week. So does that mean continuous nights in a row or every other night or spread out through the week? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you exactly how to figure out when you need to use it. So if you're really dry, you're likely gonna need to start off using it every night. So it may take two to four, maybe five nights in a row, but what eventually is going to happen is you're gonna feel quite moist in the morning. So when you feel that moistness in the morning, it's time to back off and skip a night. Now, as you use it every other night, you may start feeling too moist in the morning, and then that's the time to skip two nights in a row. So that's how you figure out perfectly how much happy hoo-hoo you actually need. Okay, and she has another question. She says, can I use them right after sex or should I wait until the next night? Either way is fine. And in fact, the only thing in the happy hoo-hoo is DHEA, progesterone, and fatty acids. It's perfectly safe for your partner. So if you put it in and all of a sudden you decide that you wanna have intercourse, you don't even need to worry about that because it's good for your partner too. So if what I recommend is if you are dry, you kind of feel like intercourse was a little dry, go ahead and use it that night. If it wasn't, wait till the next night. Okay, another question. Let's go to this one. This um, person says, I am currently taking oral progesterone 200 milligrams. I started on the Happy Hoo Hoo Suppository. Should I discontinue the oral progesterone? Can I get too much progesterone? Excellent questions. So first of all, let me remind everyone that Oral progesterone is different than topical and suppository. So 200 milligrams of oral progesterone is equivalent to about 50, 40 or 50 milligrams topically. The other difference between oral and topical is that oral has a very short half-life. So it's only in your system for about six to 10 hours. So oral progesterone does not give you that all day coverage. Okay. So that's the first thing you need to remember. The second thing that you need to remember is that progesterone uh, taken by the vaginal canal or any hormone that you put in the vaginal canal will not be absorbed very well systemically. So it's a beautiful thing about our vagina. It's not a sterile environment. Thank goodness, right? Because hmm, uh, our men aren't sterile, but uh, what is what goes up into the vagina is not absorbed systemically very much. Now, a little bit gets absorbed, but not a lot. So that 10 milligrams of progesterone and the five milligrams of DHEA, not a lot of it actually gets systemically absorbed in your body. So the answer to your question is, you should stay on your 200 milligrams of progesterone, but, um, um, you will not see a huge difference in your progesterone levels uh, with using the Happy Hoo Hoo. Okay, also remember though, that that progesterone that you're taking at night or assuming you take it at night um, is not lasting you all day. So you might want to add a small dose of uh, progesterone cream in the morning so that you have a full 24 hour coverage of progesterone. So those are the questions for today on the happy hoo hoo. And tomorrow we have some great questions to answer as well. See you then. Bye bye.